That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? Nah, no, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? It's Tasha, and I'm back with another solo video. If you are new to the channel, please check out the rest of our videos. And if you like the videos, comment, like. I just like push the button, push the like, share, and subscribe. Or just comment. But that'll be good enough. We appreciate it. Um, today I'm doing tteokbokki. And I'm hungry, y'all. <coughs> I'm hungry. Ready to eat. Oh, do I not have a so, stove? I don't have any chopsticks right now. So I'm using a fork. I have an egg, fish cakes, shrimp cake. That's it. Tteokbokki. Oh, and um, noodles. All right, y'all, I'm back. You see I got the ring light on now? So it's kind of not even facing me. Let me turn it off. Let me get into this because I'm hungry. Okay? That's the fish cake. Let me do the rice cake. All right, y'all, here we go. Mm. Sorry, Steph. Mm -hmm. She said sorry to me that I never should have eaten all that. Spaghetti bake, TikTok spaghetti bake. So I know she loves this. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Y'all don't know how bad I want this. Mm. Mm. I have, um, what do I have? What do I don't, I don't know what I was gonna say. I might have a topic, I'm not sure. I just found this, y'all, cherry cola. So I'm excited about it. Um, never tried it. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good. Excuse me, it's good if you like Olipop. Let me try this. I haven't tried this. This has mushrooms. The fish cake, it has mushroom, carrots, all kind of other stuff in it. Mm. Oh, I can taste the mushroom. Mm. That's so good. Yeah, send me some topics. Steph and Tasha on Instagram or Mama's Boy 80. That's Emma. Let me try this other fish cake. You guys, so I know there's an echo here. And you're probably wondering where I am. Well, I ain't telling y'all. Um, you guys are making a lot of assumptions. And of course it's because we're not saying too much, but we're still living our lives, right? Let us do that. Everything will, and, and let me tell you this, we're not, there's no prank. So, okay. Let me just clear that up right now. There's no prank. None. We aren't doing anything for views. Like I said in the community post, or I don't think it was a community post. Somebody said we were doing something for views. We're not doing anything for views. We get less views when we do solos. So you understand. Solos, less views. Duo, more views. Do you understand? That's how it works for our channel, okay? So that ain't true. These rice cakes are good, I tell you what. It is true. That. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. I'm gonna need a topic or something, because I ain't about to eat all that. I feel like I can. 
It's around that time. So good. Well, y'all, I'm about to send a picture to Stephanie. She's gonna be big mad. Um, it looks like sausage. It looks like jambalaya from probably where y'all sitting. It looks like jambalaya, doesn't it? Let me get this egg. Y'all know I don't want. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. Get this egg. Maybe if I put a rice cake on it. I don't know. Some ramen. Mm-mm. Nope. I didn't want that. Sorry, y'all. See, look at the light. Look at the light now. I'm tripping. Now I gotta do another thumbnail. Let me see. Mmm. Mmm, hot. That's hot. Oh my god. Right. You know what? This is not a topic. No, well, it is a topic. Not from one of you guys. I was looking on Instagram. And there was a mother of a young man about. He looked older than 23. Excuse me. And she was on Instagram talking to the ladies, talking the young ladies talking about how um, she was like, don't use my son for a free meal on your first date or whatever. He was standing in the background. He was recording. I think he was the one, he was the one recording it. It was his phone because he stopped it eventually. He was standing in the background while mom was talking about the girls. He must have come home or... And told her, or, you know, she asks her son questions and she's telling him, you know, I mean, I guess he told her that he went out or he's going out and these females are just getting food off of him. Not even really interested, but just want him to go, want to go to a steakhouse. And she was basically saying, if you can't take yourself to a steakhouse, don't expect my son to take you to a steakhouse. Um... Mm. She said the first date needs to be you guys getting to know each other, having fun, laughing, and whatnot. He shouldn't be taking me to a steakhouse because we don't know if you're worth a steak dinner. That's what she said. He wasn't saying that. He was in the background like a like a church card or a choir member. Just like, yeah, amen. You know, he was just doing all that. Amen. You know, like he agrees. He was laughing, whatever. Um, I just want to know what you guys think as far as that. Um, me personally, um, I don't judge nobody. I feel like you live the way you live. You do things the way you want to do them and I do things the way I want to do them, whatever it takes. Everybody do what you want to do. So for me, um, I feel if the son has a job, you know, and he wants to take a girl out for a steak dinner as a first impression, if he wants to show her this is what or this is what I do for myself, so I'm gonna take you here with me. Not if this is not even something he does, if he doesn't go to steakhouses, I don't see why he would take her to a steakhouse because why are you doing something that you don't normally do, don't usually do? Do what you usually do. So when she gets in a relationship with you, she 
already knows, hey, this is what we do. We don't go to steakhouses. Oh yeah, for a special occasion, we'll go to a steakhouse, but excuse me. And sometimes even, even so, somebody will take you to a steakhouse because it's, you know, it's, oh, you're first meeting this person. So I was like, let me take you to a nice place. Let me show you what I can do. It might not be an everyday thing, but it's something that is going to happen when we go out on dates. You know, you don't go out on dates all the time when you are in a relationship. You can, though, if you, if you want to, if you have that freedom, if you have that time and the money. But that's not something that you do all the time. And you can even go on dates, but I'm saying not an expensive date every time you guys go on a date. But I feel like um, I feel her. I feel where she's coming from. You don't want your son because like when I had a kid, I'm like, OK, a daughter, or a son, there's a difference. If I have a daughter, I want my daughter to be able to take care of herself. I want my daughter to be able to buy her own steak. I don't want her to have to depend on somebody or expect a man to buy her a steak, but I also want her to um, not be the one buying all the steaks as well. Like 50-50, do what you can. Even if the 50-50 is not, okay, he's buying steaks and you're, I don't know, doing something else. Um, I felt the same way as far as Elijah. I'm like, you know, well, I don't want somebody using my son, but I also want him know, to know that, um, at least in my opinion, when you care for somebody, you take care of them and you treat them special. You know, that's not financial. That's in every in every way. Um, it has nothing to do with him being a man. It has to do with him being a human being. Um, I think that we put stereotypes on men and we expect them to be the breadwinner. We expect them to pay for everything. But it doesn't have to be like that if, if you don't want it like that. You know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, anyway, what do y'all think about that? What do you think about your sons taking girls to, because this is the thing, a girl will go, I know, I remember back in the day, not like now, but I remember back in the day, people that I knew, girls would go out on dates with guys that they didn't even like just to get the food. And that's what she was saying. She was like, I mean, are you that hungry? But I mean, maybe, maybe. I don't know the girls uh, was doing it. We're hungry. That's why they were doing it. Um, oh, this is rich. I'm done with this shit. Let me get another piece. <clears throat> Let me do one of these, y'all. This is a shrimp cake. It's actually really good. Now that this sauce is like drying, it's getting a lot richer. Strong. So, back to what I was saying earlier, y'all. I am not Stephanie and I have not lied about anything. We haven't insinuated anything that isn't true. Um, we're not putting on a show for views. Um, we're having real life right in front of y'all. That is what we're doing. This is not a ploy. This is not a test of the emergency broadcast system. <laughs> this is life. It's lifing. Um, and that's what it's gonna do. Same thing it's gonna do for y'all, it's gonna do for us, life. Is this mozzarella? I think this is a piece of mozzarella. Um, Y'all. This is actually going to be a short video because what I'm going to not do is force myself to eat any more of this. I want a juice. That's what I actually want. Okay. One more bite though. One more bite for those of you who really want me to take it. One more bite. Okay. I probably won't spit this out. Mm. I mean, it's rich. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. It's gotten richer. I don't understand. Um, this is probably the shortest video in the history of short videos. Oh, also, if you want me to do your taxes, 
you can give me a call or you text me, but it's not time yet. So don't call and text me because I already have some people calling and texting and you don't have to do that right now because it's not, it's not time. My phone number is 310-743-4719. Text me or yeah, text me if you want your taxes done. I'm going to start doing taxes, of course, in January or February. Um, that's it, y'all. Um, until next time, only good vibes. Peace.